This meeting is being recorded. Hey, hello, everyone. <laughs> Welcome and congratulations for coming to this call. My name is Mallory, and I'm so happy to be here with three of my brothers that have been just really extremely positive influences on my life. And they're just really amazing examples of men that are really doing the inner work and healing themselves emotionally and mentally, spiritually and physically, because you know, um, as a lot of us know, that's not always really easy. And so um, this is also a business opportunity call because one of the things that they've been using to go through all of this inner growth and healing and in the process of growing into the righteous men that they are and being an example for the world um, is this business Perium and having these superfoods every day consistently and how they've, they've all just transformed so much. And so I'm really excited and so honored to have the three of you. And I feel like this is something that a lot of men could really benefit from because, you know, I'm just a woman from, from my perspective, looking at a man's, like trying to understand a man's point of view. And, and it just feels like there's a lot of suppression of emotions and um, support for men. And so this is just kind of a space that I'm making an attempt to show that I care and to also in hopes reach out to other men. And I really feel like it that in order for me to reach men, I want to share the men in my life that are already being a good example, because I feel like it's the men that need to help the men, really. And so I'm just kind of like a pivot point here right now, showing you these three men that I have in my life, uh, Jared, Dan, and Mike. And so let's just get started right off the bat and uh, get the attention on you guys, because this is really what this call is about for me. And so I would love to start with Jared. So Jared is um, one of uh, one of the two people that really got me into this business. And he was there from day one, helping me order and getting me signed up. And um, so Jared, I would love for you to get into it. Um, what are you doing uh, to heal yourself mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually? Maybe if there's one more than the other that you wanna talk about and how has Perium and these superfoods and this lifestyle um, been a conduit for you to help you with this process? so much Mallory um yeah it's, it's it's I'll just share like my story quickly my kind of I had this healing journey where <clears throat> I was born uh with a with acute asthma and allergies a lot of kids are born with allergies it's common you know I was allergic to cats and dogs certain foods so uh I had that like my pretty much my whole life um I we went plant-based um and I started feeling better it helped quite a bit um but it wasn't until uh, about four years ago that I was introduced to gut health. I was in, I was into soil health, uh, soil regeneration, and the technology behind that. And the gut health was, was actually really similar. It was it was echoing a lot of the same things about a gut microbiome, how you want beneficial bacteria, and to have it restore that ecosystem so you could digest better. And you know, at first when it came to it came to us, it was Alice and my wife who was, you know, suffering from a lot of different things. She was on five different medications, a lot of pharmaceuticals, um, looking for answers to her issues. And, and this came into our life and she started healing really quickly. Like she was having these profound changes where she was no longer dependent on medications and her mental state really improved. So I was, I became more open-minded to it. I was super skeptical at first. I was like, I don't, I don't know. What is this diet thing? Like, I don't do this, you know, I, and I've tried other things and nothing really worked. Um, but what I did notice was the high vibration of the food, like the, the power shake, for instance, is these super greens. Um, it's really something where people can, can have access to the ingredients individually, but these superfoods, like when they're combined and you take them every day consistently, that's where you notice these really amazing benefits. Things start to change. So it's the equivalent of like someone saying they work out once or twice a week versus going every day, you know, the kind of changes you'll see through being consistent. So what happened pretty fast and in, in about like 60 days, 90 days, I my asthma, my allergies disappeared. I was breathing normally again. 
and I could I could work out finally without getting all mucusy and wheezy. And um, so I was able to up level my health. And, you know, I lost like 25, 30 pounds uh, of dad bod that I've been carrying around for most of my adult life. And so I was just really amazed by the, how that, how it works. And so the Purium lifestyle, because it's not restrictive, because it's not like a calorie restricting diet where you're watching what you're, what you're eating, it's, you just add the, these things to your routine and then you phase out the bad food. You lose your cravings for sugary, salty foods. So it, it made it really easy <clears throat> to, to adopt this new daily ritual that and and it tastes awesome too. Like the power shake, I was like a non-believer again. But as soon as I started taking it, I was like, when we ran out, I was like, I want more of this. Like I need this. Uh, you know, it's it's delicious. So I um I love sharing. I love talking about it. And then how this really relates to uh, my mental state uh, and and just speaking as a man, it's like growing up, I didn't have any, a lot of role models, a lot of, you know, people I, I admired who were in that health space, you know, like I grew up like Simpsons, like Homer eating donuts, like the dumbass and like, you know, ever you were, you were kind of programmed to think like you have to like be a man and eat meat and drive a truck and drink beer. And like, that's what these kind of stereotype that that exists because it's manufactured. Right. Um, but all that really does is it just um, softens you, makes you more complacent and kind of actually removes your, the masculinity. It's like the opposite of true masculinity. I, I, I feel that, um, we're here to, as protectors, um, we, we have to protect our, our partner our children and, and mother earth. That's, that's what we really have to do here. So how this opportunity came into our, my life was, um, I, I saw that this was a sharing economy. It was, it was an investment. It wasn't like a, a, some other job I've ever had before. All we had to do was share our story, talk about what we love about this lifestyle, because we, I, I, our mission is just to help others. We, I don't want to see someone else suffering with asthma or allergies or some other uh, reversible illness, something that's manageable through nutrition, because they just, they're, they don't have the community. They don't have the support. So here we are actively sharing it. And, you know, because the business model, they don't pay for marketing. They don't care to make ads. Purium doesn't spend their money on that. They, but they want, they, they just want people to, to share the products and share the stories so that they could help heal others. And as we healed more people, um, we were compensated for that extremely fairly. Uh, and, and Purium has something called profit sharing when you reach a certain rank, which opened up the door completely for me. I left a six figure cozy, cushy job with benefits to focus on this opportunity because the mission is so clear. It's like a zero waste. Um, they want to renew soil, regenerate the earth and, and heal humans by taking care of their gut, providing this gut health solution. So it all really aligned. And, you know, I, I'm just so grateful that I, I had an open mind to it because now I, I see other people and other men in my life. And, you know, at first they're kind of like laughing at me about it, you know, like first they laugh at you and then they insult you. And now they want to join. Now they're like, I see you're consistent with this. I see this is like, it's, I could see you're reversing, you're aging, you have more energy, you're youthful. Like I want, I want to try it too. So that's all it really is, is just uh, a connection that we're doing. We're connecting people to organic superfood nutrition and making it really easy. And, you know, just taking part in this new, beautiful sharing economy where we can make money from anywhere in the world now. So that's that's my story. And, um, you know, we encountered Mallory and uh, Mike Parsons. He's a brilliant guy, you know, fellow Canuck, you know, go Canada. And, you know, uh, we just aligned and, you know, I'll, I'll pass the uh, the mic to Mike. And uh, <laughs> and yeah, please share your story. Thanks. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to steal the mic for just a second. Jared, thank you so much for sharing um, just the way that you share too. Like growing up, I didn't really experience and like experience men sharing in that way, like the feel, like the feeling. And I really like the part where you mentioned um, how men just want to like, especially like in your case, I can't speak 
for all men, but um, being able to take care of women and hold a safe space for women, because I feel like that's essential in us all working together. And in something that came up earlier today for me, um, my mom and I were talking just about the masculine and the feminine energy and the physical um, manifestations of the masculine body and the feminine body energy. And I was just kind of thinking about how like, yeah, there is like this also like the men have their seed, but like in order for any, like there needs to be a place for the seed to be planted also. It just kind of got me thinking about how the energies are here to work together. And I just really love how open you're able to talk about all of this and, and really just share your emotions and, and how you feel. And um, totally makes sense that people would like, guys would maybe make fun of you at first because like most guys aren't used to actually showing their feelings. And, um, and again, I don't want to like say, all men just like in my experience in my life men have tended to be more on the not sharing their feelings as often so it's really nice to um know men that actually know how to like feel how they feel and share it and not have any shame for it um so thank you jared and so yes i want to go on to my friend mike next um mike and i had a really great talk the other night and uh he's also really passionate about empowering men and uh, creating community with men to, um, you know, rise into better versions of themselves. And Mike is just such a wonderful example of that. And so, yeah, I'm going to give the mic to you. Thank you so much, Mallory. Uh, such kind words. And, you know, I'm, I'm, thank you for everyone joining. I'm really humbled to be uh, a part of this group and to be speaking. Um, so a little bit about my journey, uh, you know, I was born into a very athletic and like health focused family. So I can't say I came from, you know, the background of a lot of unhealthy food. We were very careful and, uh, you know, I don't know if restricted is the right word, but like restricted with like junk food and, and going out to McDonald's and that type of thing. Um, but otherwise it was a fairly traditional diet, uh, but played a lot of sports, really focused on health, trying to eat healthy. and so. Part of my story was um, towards the end of my grade school, you know, era. Uh, my father was diagnosed with an autoimmune disease, and so that sort of kickstarted an awareness of digestive health, of how things can go wrong, of trying to find solutions, you know, not just for him, but of course for myself as well. And so I got really passionate about you know healthy food and uh, fermenting food, growing food. Uh, you know, I have my own. Two different gardens. I have hydroponic and soil gardens. I do regenerative agriculture. You know, I uh, took all these steps, fermenting my own kefir and kombucha, and sort of got to a place where I figured, okay, I've kind of, I'm, I'm doing as much as I can do. You know, I've, I've peaked at, at what the abilities are. But in business, was always unsettled and looking for. You know, I've worked with some big companies. I've, I've got client lists for stuff like Raytheon and Facebook and Google and, and all that stuff but never felt satisfied because when you're interacting with these individuals, you don't know where that money's going and you don't have control over the ethics and over the types of people you're working with, right? There's no real influence. And so Purium came into my life. It was introduced to, um, to me uh, by someone who just said, you know, check out the food. That was sort of the, the approach I was given. Look into the food, look at what it could do. It can, it can really step up your health. Um, and so me being skeptical, much like Jared and probably most men being stubborn and skeptical, I was like, I need to look into this uh, further. You know, I'm, I'm really hesitant. I'd been at that point vegan for about 14 years. So like I've tried supplements, I've tried them all. I've bounced through all the different product lines, you know, I haven't been terribly impressed. So I started really digging, doing research on, you know, for example, the man that runs this company and some of the men that are in this company and started to quickly realize you know, they had put together, they had done something, not only on an agricultural front that I was trying to do, but from a business standpoint, something I was trying to do. So I got to a point from doing the research on the agriculture, the regenerative agriculture they use, the compostable packing, all these elements. And I was like, okay, I'm going to pull, I'll pull the trigger. I'll make an order, but I have a feeling I'm going to send this back. They give me a 60 day guarantee, like for money back, probably going to send it back, but here we go. I'll try it. And, uh, you know, three or four days in, all these things that I thought were part of, you know, being an athlete, what I consider to be a, you know, a washed up athlete with all sorts of aches and pains started to shift. My digestion shifted immensely. You know, I went from thinking I've got an older guy's digestive system to being like, I had really bad IBS and I'm, you know, now free of those problems. 
Um, I had a skin issue that had plagued me for a long time. I've been a multiple dermatologist that cleared up. Um, you know, I had some, some lagging cognition. I'd had a lot of concussions from hockey. I've documented eight major concussions in my life. I had to relearn how to type on a computer. I had to learn how to tie my shoes again. I basically thought that I was going to be, you know, lowered in my IQ permanently. Um, but from, you know, from the aminos and from fueling my body and, and my gut, really started to notice these shifts and these changes in, in my cognition as well. And so, you know, from, from the standpoint of like a spiritual, ethical, um, you know, moral standpoint of growth and about being, you know, the kind of man that I want to be, I was fortunate to have a very good example with my father of, you know, stepping up and making the right decisions and doing the right thing, whether people agreed or not, whether people liked you or not. But it's very hard to do when your health is out of balance. It's very hard to do when your mental state is out of balance, you know, and I, I started to, over the course of my adult life, witness myself begin to lose temperament, you know, begin to become irritable. And, you know, I developed traveler's anxiety, which like for me was a weird thing. Uh, you know, it's not at all akin to my personality type. I'm very adventurous. Um, all of those things lifted, you know, and, and I was able to, there's a big difference, I guess, what I'm trying to say is there's a big difference between, you know, knowing who you want to be and being able to be that person, not just an execution of business, but an execution of personality and then how you treat others. Right. And so, you know, I, I eventually, unfortunately did lose my, my father to the autoimmune disease as well. And, and one of the things that that made me recognize is being able to care for people goes so far beyond being wealthy, being strong. It involves just being alive. It involves thinking about your health and well-being when you don't want to. And that might be one of the toughest parts of being a man. In, in today's age, is, you know, we're so neglectful, we're so stubborn, we're so hesitant to talk about things, to share uncomfortable things about our body. And we're dying everywhere, so in such high numbers. And so, you know, to me, the biggest part of being supportive, of being able to protect others, being there for my niece and nephew, my family, is taking care of my health, right? And, and you know, making sure that I will be there. And then as long as I am, I can continuously work on all these other things that I'm working on through, you know, meditation and through community service and through, uh, you know, one of my major goals is, is to basically be there for people, you know, when they need me. And there's no attachment to that of, you know, being paid or being, you know, and all of that will come from being affluent, working with the right businesses, making the right amount of money so that, you know, you're in a position where you don't have to ask someone for anything. You're just there for them. I need you. Sure. I'm there. No problem. To me, that's, that's at the core of, of what we do and of, of having time, freedom, financial freedom and health freedom, which is the, the biggest. Goodness, thank you, Mike. I, as you were speaking, I was just like, <clears throat> I just feel like you're so open. You're just so open. And it's like when, when our body is, having a hard time and our gut is damaged, I get this feeling feeling of like our body is kind of like contracted. We're kind of contracted because we're not healed and we have to take care of ourselves first. And and it's so important to do that so that we can be open and ready for when other people come and we can be out of our own um yeah, just to to stay open and and stay in that place of um openness instead of tightness and, and illness and um and fear really um so thank you thank you for sharing it's beautiful and um so now um now we go on to my friend dan um dan is really special to me he um i think he's been in the business for about two years dan is that right or just about two years um and um when i joined he was here you know there are a lot of people there are a lot of people that have come and gone and some people that aren't here anymore from when I started, but Dan is still here and he's been so supportive to me from like day one, literally. I remember when we went on one of our first lives and I was so nervous and Dan was so supportive and has always been there for me whenever I need to talk. And um, so I'm really excited and happy to have Dan here with me. I mean, I'm happy to have all of you, <laughs> but um, Dan, I would love for you to take the mic and, and give your share, please. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Mallory, for first off hosting this call. And thank you everybody for joining us this evening on a Saturday night. 
I appreciate all of you for taking the time out of your, your busy schedules to uh, join us on this call. And uh, for me, um, I'm, when it all started for me, yeah, like Mallory said, two years ago, um, I actually wasn't taking very good care of myself. Um, I was addicted to alcohol, uh, nicotine, and even sometimes substances. Um, you know, the party favors on the weekends, like it would be like on a typical weekend, such as tonight even. Um, I was brought up on the standard North American diet. Um, I was also drinking anywhere between like eight to 10 beers a night. Uh, and I would typically be going to, you know, a lot of places like, you know, the drive through all these greasy spoon spots, uh, like on a daily. And like my diet consisted of like chicken fingers, fries and frozen pizzas and burgers, literally. Like it was terrible. And I mean, I truly don't know where I would be today if it wasn't for Allison and Jared who are on this call. I mean, it was like a care frontation, you know, almost like, like, hey, it looks like you may benefit from this. How about you give it a shot? And I went into this wholeheartedly. I took upon myself to use and utilize that $50 gift card where I was actually able to save up to $100 off of my first uh, order of the Ultimate Lifestyle Transformation and had outstanding results. I mean, uh, I quickly started letting go of things that were no longer serving me, like the addictions, um, my poor eating habits. And I literally, yeah, like just dropped everything that I was already kind of doing. It's mo more like addition to subtraction. So I was pretty much replacing a good habit with a bad, like with a bad one. So literally these products literally changed my entire life. I initially lost 12 pounds off of my first ultimate lifestyle transformation. And I mean, the community that comes along with this is just so strong, loving and compassionate and there for each other. I mean, it, it, it's almost like doing a disservice not to share this with other people, which is what, what brings us all here today. And, you know, being that shining, abundant, radiant light and inspiring other people of what is absolutely possible, because being a man of my statue, like, you know, coming from addictions, I'll, I'll be two years clean uh, January 30th. So just in a few more weeks. And that's a huge milestone for me and something to be very proud of. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for the power of my friends, my community and my willingness to want to change. I mean, it was all up to me. Um, for all I know, I probably could have been dead in a ditch somewhere. And that's the truth. I honestly could have been. And in terms of how it has changed my life, you know, mentally, physically, and even spiritually, uh, you know, I'm running every single day. I'm getting that physical activity, getting the endorphins flowing. Uh, I do yoga, meditation, self-love affirmations. Um, I never, you know, did these things in the past. And I'm truly happy because I fill my own cup uh, on a daily basis, living in a constant state of gratitude and abundance. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just truly blessed and happy to be where I am today. And, yeah, I just want to thank everybody once again for joining me and us on this uh, incredible mega Zoom call. And I just love and appreciate you all. And thank you, Mallory, for creating this space. Yay. Yeah, I'm so grateful for all of you. And um, to be honest, when I was thinking about having this call, I was like, wow, having the three of these guys, it's like big energy for me. But I'm so grateful um, that I allowed myself to do this because I feel like it's really important. And um, Dan, your transformation just like blows my mind, to be honest, and also gives me so much hope for for people that I know that have addictions. Um, it's a sensitive topic and you are truly like, you give me hope 
for some people in my life and um, just your entire energy has shifted completely. And that's what this food does. This food is a, this food is a spiritual experience, you know, because we've been so used to eating food that is grown in soil that's depleted and sprayed with glyphosate and who knows what else is going on. It's extremely just nutrient depleted. Um, and so, yeah, please, uh, please, please, please reach out to the person that invited you to this call. Um, I can't emphasize the importance of taking care of our health enough. And this food is an experience that everyone deserves to have. And um, we can't make anyone do it, obviously, but we're just the best we can do is share our stories and um, hope that we inspire and um, flicker a little flame within every person on the planet to have this desire to, to experience this. And we're all still on this journey together too. You know, we're all still having our superfoods every day, working through blocks. Um, the business opportunity is a whole nother level of working, um, working through blocks and, traumas or whatever is going on you know um this is a way to approach it and to really do the work um it's like really beautiful i'm so excited to be offering this and yeah like i said please reach out to whoever um invited you to this call we also have a hundred dollar off gift certificate for your first um 30-day ultimate lifestyle transformation we're actually really encouraging um now a 90-day transformation because it really takes 90 days to um set in a new habit and, and, and really see the changes that you want to that you want to see and so thank you so much mike jared and dan and for everyone that came to join and i love you all and i hope you have a good night thank you mom thanks guys have a great saturday night thanks for coming thank you so much everyone